China is looking to restart dialogue and rebuild trust with America. I'm not saying this, a top Chinese diplomat is. Wang Yi is the name, the foreign minister of China. He has offered an olive branch to the incoming Biden administration. He says, a new window of hope is opening. He made the remarks in a recent interview with state news agency Xinhua. Mr. Wang Yi said that China is looking to get ties back on track despite unprecedented difficulties, which explains why Chinese President Xi Jinping has written an unprecedented letter to American companies, companies like Starbucks, which has opened 4,700 coffee shops in China since 1999. The former chairman of Starbucks, Howard Schultz, recently received a letter from Xi Jinping. Mr. Schultz stepped down as the as the chairman of the coffee house chain in 2018, but he retains an honorary title at the company. So Xi Jinping has written a letter to him. What was the letter all about? It was a request, a request to play an active role in promoting China-US economic and trade cooperation. Xi Jinping wrote, and I'm quoting, China will provide a broader space for companies from all over the world, including Starbucks and other American companies to develop in China. Like I said, the timing of this letter is significant. It comes just a week before Joe Biden takes office as America's 46th president. There are reports suggesting that the Biden administration, unlike Trump's, will look to secure American interests in China. That it will try to undo Trump's quote-unquote needless confrontation with Beijing. So this letter by Xi Jinping should come as no surprise. Also, the letter follows another request from Beijing to Washington, a request to lift the ban on cotton and tomato imports from Xinjiang. Let me explain this. On Wednesday, the Trump administration announced a ban on all cotton and tomato products coming from the province of Xinjiang. Why? Due to allegations that these products were being grown with the help of forced labor from detained Uyghur Muslims. Cotton products worth 9 billion US dollars and tomato products worth 10 million US dollars were imported from China into America in 2020. The Trump administration has decided to curb these imports. Countries like Canada and the UK are expected to do the same. China is mighty upset. It wants America to lift this ban and it says the allegation of forced labor is the lie of the century. Listen to this. China firmly opposes this. The so-called forced labor is the lie of the century manufactured and fabricated by certain Western institutions, including the United States. The purpose is to crack down on the relevant parties and companies on the Chinese side and to contain China's development. Such righteousness. If there's anybody who wants to contain China's development, it is China itself, it seems, lying about a pandemic, suppressing voices, unleashing propaganda, persecuting minorities. This is not development, not to the best of our knowledge. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.